Yeah, um, I think Tamlin's going to be recording recording us, and so normally, Sharon, we would have had tried to get you, you know, invited you to come to McDonough so we could have done this in person, but everything's different this year. So, um, it is, it is. so anyway, I just want to congratulate you for, for being our women driver of excellence for Bennett truck transport. Well, so thank congratulations. you. It is an honor. I mean, it's like I was telling her, I said, I have no clue what I did to get that. <laughs> well, you got uh, you got a very nice nomination with a lot of uh, great accolades, and so it's a pleasure for me to get to meet you. Uh, how long have you been driving, Sharon? This past June was thirty five years I've been driving. Oh my goodness! How many thirty five year pulling manufacturer cones? Yes. Wow. Yeah. How did you get into it? How did you start? Because that's unusual for a woman to pull uh, manufacturing yeah. housing. It was sort of a dare situation. They didn't think I could. And I said, well, <laughs> give me the opportunity and I'll show you. But, <laughs> but what they didn't know is I had grew up around it my whole life with my family. They had done it all. So, yeah, it was, it was sort of a dare. So, yeah. Been in it ever since. Loved it. It was a challenge, and I love a challenge. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I, I was followed for two or three weeks from the people inside the plant and the office and all. And they finally said, yeah, I believe she knows what she's doing, so we're going we're gonna to let her have at it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I pulled the first 90-foot 16-wide out of Gateway Homes for Mr. Tim Baker. Wow. And, and Ruby Davis. That's been a long time ago. That's been a long time ago. Wow. Yeah, it has. Well, congratulations. I mean, I and you're Thank you. you're a wonderful driver. You're a safe driver. And we just appreciate well, I you. Well, so, I try to um, be. So since safety is priority one with us, what are some of the things that you do on the road to make sure that you stay safe? Well, I always keep an eye out for my surroundings. I always make sure, you know, when we stop, we check our lugs on the tires, the rims, everything. Uh, make sure our chains is still intact. You know, safety is not just for me, but it's the people out there too that you're meeting. You know, so uh, I really I keep my speed under control. That's that's one of the safeties and keep your eyes on your mirrors and keep all your lights and stuff clean where people can see them really well. But honestly, the man upstairs is what keeps keeps me safe because I do not put my truck in gear. I don't care where I'm at. Every morning before I leave home to go to work, I ask him to watch over me and the people around me to get me back home safely. And so far, he's done a really good job. <laughs> a really good job at it. Um, so, Sharon, um, just my, again, I just want to congratulate you on being chosen as our Women of Excellence. I can certainly understand why you were chosen. And so, in accepting this award, is there anything that you would like to say or uh, an acceptance of it? Um, I would like to thank my boss lady, Miss Lisa Phillips, for having a, a lot of faith and trust in me. Um, I would like to thank you and all the people at Bennett for giving me the opportunity to work for y'all. And I guess just for, you know, I mean, I'm overwhelmed. I, I really wasn't expecting nothing like this. I was just like, what, what? Well, I forget, I, maybe the lady that's on there with us called me. I said, what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I, was, I said, I'm in shock. So I don't know what to say. So um, it is an honor. I will keep it next to my heart. I mean, it's, it's amazing that people recognize you like that. It really is. Um, and I really can't wait 
maybe someday get to sit down and talk with you. You know, I know you're a busy woman and all, but if you ever close by, I'd like to meet me and talk to you. I really would. I um, would. I haven't got to come to the office in Georgia yet. I, I've been by. Matter of fact, I lived over there for a couple, about a year and a half. We, but I didn't even know Bennett existed back when I lived there. So. But well, uh, I, Jaren, I'd love the opportunity to sit and talk to you and, and like I say, hear your story and, and just hear about some of, you know, some of the experiences that you've had out on the road and, uh, in 35 years, I'm sure you've had some experiences. I have. I, I've had some, but, you know, they was just maybe one or two that wasn't the greatest, you know. But mm -hmm. you you get up every morning and you say, I'm going to do this. Don't matter what hits me in the face today, we're going to go on with this. Well, matter of fact, last week we took a house out close to San Antonio, Texas. We had 22 flats on my hands. And some of the terms was ungodly. I mean, I was like, wow. I get all the way there and I just chip off a little piece of the corner on the house. And I, so I took a picture of it and I sent it to Lisa and she said, hey, if that's all you've done out of nearly 900 miles and all them turns and flats, you, I wouldn't be worried about it. I said, yeah, but it just sort of sucks. Get all the way out of here. <laughs> you know, no damage, but that one little bitty piece yeah. that it yeah. just burnt my whole trip. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it just really irritated me to do that. I mean, it's like I bring this thing all the way out here to all them turns and flats and all the towns, and, you know, and then that happened to me. I was, oh, <laughs> she said, hey, if that's how it happened, don't let it upset yeah. you. I said, yeah. well, it does. But, yeah, yeah she's, she's a pretty awesome lady to work for. Lisa well, is. Well, that's good. She feels the same way about you. 